Namaste, welcome yogis. My name is Cassandra. I'm going to take you through an intermediate full body vinyasa flow class. So we are really going to work on opening up our shoulders, our chest, getting into our hips, a little bit of core work and strong standing poses. Um, so really like a well-rounded, truly intermediate flow. I'm not using any props, but as always, if you have them at home, just keep them close by in case you need it. And we'll start in a wide like a child's pose. I'll give you the option, if you'd like, of doing a reverse prayer with your arms as well. So big toes together, knees as wide as you would like them to be. And maybe it feels best for you to just keep your arms out in front, or if you'd like to open into your shoulders a little more, bring your hands together, and then bend your elbows as you bring your thumbs towards the back of your neck. Try to melt your heart down towards the floor, making that first connection with the flow and rhythm of your breath. Setting aside whatever day you've had, whatever is on your mind at the moment, and giving yourself full permission to just work it out on the mat. Maybe setting an intention for your practice. This could be just one word that captures how you want to feel or what you want to focus on. An intention being something that you want to remind yourself of and that you want to dedicate yourself to. And take three more breaths here. And you can straighten your arms. We'll start to lift up into a tabletop pose on hands and knees palms under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, spread your fingertips nice and wide. And staying strong here through your core as you draw your navel in, bring your right hand to the back of your head and notice how the elbow wants to tuck in. Try to lift your elbow up so you should feel some activation here through the shoulder blades into your upper back. As you inhale, open up as much as you can, right elbow to the ceiling. And then exhale, bring it parallel to the floor. Just two more like this. Inhale, subtle movements. Exhale, last one, inhale. And exhale. And now go ahead and reach your right arm up to the sky. Thread the needle, right arm underneath you, shoulder and ear to the floor. And you can bring your left hand wherever feels the best to you here as you twist deeply. You might even be able to push your right arm into the ground to stretch a little bit more through your upper back. We'll have a few back bends in this practice. So we want to make sure that we're really focusing on opening up through our shoulders, our chest and our upper back. And let's come out of this pose tabletop, hands and knees, and just take one or two rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone up. Exhale, round and contract. One more, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. Find your neutral tabletop pose, and this time left hand goes to the back of your head. Keep your elbow lifted so you're roughly parallel to the floor. As you inhale, open up as much as you can. Exhale, come back to neutral. It's not going to be very big. Inhale, open up. Exhale, parallel to the ground. Last one, keep the elbow up. Inhale. And exhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, thread the needle, place the shoulder and the ear down to the floor. Maybe your right hand stretches up overhead. Notice if your hips are kind of shifting to the right side of your mat, try to keep them aligned over your knees. And maybe you push your left arm into the floor, 
to get a deeper sensation through your upper back. And coming back up, instead of doing our cat and cow from our tabletop stance, this time tuck your toes under and let your hips sit back on your heels into a little toe squat. Open up your arms, cactus shape, inhale and exhale, round and contract forms together. So this is the same thing as cat and cow, but from this stance. Inhale, open up, exhale, round, pull it in. Two more, inhale and exhale last one and bring it in downward facing dog plant your palms shoulder with distance apart and lift your hips all the way up and back and go ahead and bend one knee as you straighten the opposite leg alternating this movement a few times just checking in to see where there's Maybe a little bit of tightness or tension in the back of your legs, maybe in your shoulders. Keep toning the navel back towards your spine. As you inhale, come all the way forward into your plank pose. Keep your hips low. The back of your head is lifted, shoulders drawing down and away from your ears. Bend into your knees, tuck tailbone up and back into your downward facing dog. Let's just do that one more time. Inhale, plank pose, super strong here. Keep your head lifted. Bend into your knees, shift your hips back, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, open up your hip. Get a nice big stretch here. Not worrying too much about squaring the shoulders. Instead, just try to open up and straighten and square your leg as you exhale tap your right knee to your right shoulder keep your hips low and trace a big circle with your knee and another circle and another circle and now go ahead and step that foot through keep the back knee lifted just come up onto your fingertips runner's lunge hips are melting down heart pulls forward just getting a great big stretch through your thigh and we'll get a little deeper into the hamstrings here. A wide variation of your pyramid pose as you straighten that right leg and fold. So it's probably likely that your back heel is off the floor, which is totally fine. It's just a different variation of this pose. And you can certainly keep a bend in your front knee. Try to square your hips to the front of the mat. And let's find our low lunge. So bend again into that front knee. Let your back knee come down to the floor. Lifting up, inhale. Draw the front ribs in, tailbone down. Cactus with your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you as you open up through your chest. One more inhale through your heart. And bring your fingertips down to the floor. We're gonna lift up to warrior two. Spin your back heel parallel to the short edge of your mat. Open up, palms facing down. Squeeze that front knee open a little more. And go ahead and straighten your front leg. Bring your back toes in a couple inches. We'll take triangle pose with archer arms. Right arm up, you can bend into your elbow. And maybe the left hand reaches back to interlace or you might just hold on to your shirt. You can always just use your left hand to push the elbow back. So whichever variation is the most appropriate to you at the moment, lift and lengthen and start to shift your hips back as you reach your chest forward. So you won't be going down all the way here in this variation. Think of pushing that arm open, push into your feet, inhale, rise up. Release the arms, full triangle pose this time. Hips go back, right hand goes wherever is appropriate, maybe to the shin or to a block. Left arm up, roll your left shoulder back. And you can stretch your left arm, bicep along the ear, start to look down to the floor. Left hand down, step it back, downward facing dog.
Let's take our flow from here. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, lift up. Release, downward facing dog. Second side, left leg rises up. Bend your left knee, open up your hip. And don't worry too much about your shoulders here. Just let your hips open and stretch deeply. And go ahead and straighten and square that leg. Exhale, tap your left knee to your left shoulder. Try to keep your hips fairly stable and just trace a big circle and another circle and another circle. Runner's lunge, step that foot through. Stay up onto your fingertips as you press and melt the hips forward and down. Lengthen through your spine, reach the crown of your head forward. Into our wide pyramid pose as you straighten that front leg, pressing into the back heel. Opening up into the hamstrings here. See if you can relax your neck. We'll come into our low lunge, cactus with the arms, back knee comes down to the floor, inhale, arms rise, bend into your elbows, open up through your chest. Keep your elbows lifted, it's really your shoulder blades that you're trying to squeeze behind you. Big activation here through your upper back. Fingertips come down to the floor, warrior two, spin your back heel parallel to the short edge of your mat. Open up through your arms, palms facing down. Sink nice and low, strong through your quads. Straighten your front leg. Narrow your stance just a little bit here. We'll come into that archer arm variation. Left arm up, bend into the elbow. Maybe your right arm reaches back. Any variation of this that feels good for you here. Lift and lengthen and maintain that lift as you hinge from the hips. Strong in your legs here. Push, come all the way up. Release your arms, triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm up. Bring your right bicep along your ear, stretching a little more, look down to the floor. Bend into your front knee, downward facing dog. Take your vinyasa, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or upward dog. Downward facing dog. Okay, from downward dog, let your knees come down to the floor. Coming into our puppy stretch, keep your hips over your knees and just walk your hands further forward as you melt down towards the mat. So stretching deeply here, try to relax your chest towards the floor. Some people like to put their forehead on the mat like what I'm doing, others will put their chin on the floor. For me, that's a little too much for my neck, but it might be really comfortable for you. So just check in with that. Slow, steady breaths in and out through your nose. Okay, let's transition from here into our forearm plank. So activate through your belly, palms flat to the floor, tuck the toes under, lift your knees and your hips off the mat. Now from here, roll onto your left elbow and you can come up onto your left finger or your right fingertips, sorry. Step your right foot back behind you, push into the feet and see if you can reach your right arm up overhead. So this is a variation of side forward plank as well as wild thing. Take an inhale, transition back to your forearm plank and we're gonna go do that same thing on the other side. So shift over to your right form. 
Come up onto your left fingertips for balance. Step your left toes back behind you. Push into the feet and reach your arm up overhead. Bicep along the ear, push your hips up. Keep some weight in those back toes. Forearm plank, carefully back through to center. Sphinx pose, let your hips come down. Open up through your heart, roll your shoulders back. And lower down, three baby cobras. Inhale, chin, chest, palms lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale. And exhale, press back, child's pose. Keep your arms out in front of you and come up onto your fingertips for this child's pose. And with your fingertips staying grounded on the mat, can you almost think of pushing your shoulders down towards the floor? And let's lift the chest up. Staying kneeling, bring your hands back behind you. Push and lift up through your heart. Keep your elbows reaching towards one another. And maybe you stay here, or maybe you also lift your hips up. And hips back onto your heels, tabletop pose. Two rounds of cat and cow as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone up. Exhale, round and contract. Inhale. And exhale. Into your tiger pose, reach your right leg up, kick up through the heel, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Maybe you stay as you are, or you can reach back with your left hand, holding onto the ankle. And push the foot into the palm in order to lift. Try not to let your right knee open to the side of your mat. Keep the knee facing down. Release carefully, round and contract right away to the other side. Left heel kicks up, drop the belly. Reach back with your right hand this time, holding onto the foot. Kick into your palm to lift up a little more. Big stretch and big opening through your shoulder, through your chest. Release, contract, downward facing dog. From your downward dog, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Keep it straight and squared. We're gonna step high lunge, right foot forward between your palms, push into your feet. Go ahead and rise on up. And from here, let's clasp and interlace. So. Hands go behind you, interlace and roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Find a little lift through your chest and then start to dive down towards the inside of your thigh, lifting the knuckles up and over. Keep the interlace, but lift your chest back up. And now keep a generous bend in your front knee. Find a variation of warrior three where your supported leg is bent. So really bend into that right knee. Try to keep your hips low and see if you can lift your knuckles off of your low back. Reach through your back leg, sink down a little more. And can you find standing splits from here, keeping the interlace of the hands? So now we're trying to straighten our right leg and lift the left leg up higher reaching through the knuckles. Bring your fingertips down to the floor for stability, fold a little bit more. Into your chair pose, big toes together, heels apart, sink your hips down, inhale. Should feel that down your right leg. Bend your elbows out in front of you, right arm under the left, binding once or twice. Right thigh crosses over the left once or twice. Sink down, eagle pose. Pull your navel in. Uh, 
and release. Inhale, arms up, expand. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your palms, go right away to down dog. So last little part of this flow, in your down dog, re-extend the right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee, open up your hip, and transition into your wild thing, right toes behind you, just like what we did in our forearm plank. But keep your left arm straight, reach your right arm up and over, both legs should be pushing into the floor. Big breath in here. And transition back, we're gonna come into our pigeon pose. Bring your right knee behind your right wrist. Straighten that back leg, square off the pelvis. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. A good, slow five breaths right here. And we'll lift back up. We meet in our downward dog. You're welcome to take a vinyasa if you'd like from your down dog, or it might feel good just to hang out there for a few breaths. If you want to take your flow, you make your way from plank to chaturanga into your back bend. And we meet back in our downward dog. All right, second side. Left leg rises, keep it straight and squared for your high lunge. Left foot forward, push into your feet. Your feet should be at least hip width distance apart. And we're gonna interlace our hands the more unusual way, so you want your other thumb on top. Roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. Lots of space in your neck here before you fold to the inside of that thigh. Reach your knuckles up and over. Keep your hips sinking down low. Gaze is steady and lift your chest back up. We're gonna come into the warrior three variation where we keep that front knee bent. Right leg lifts up. See if you can even bend your left knee more. Draw your lower belly in. Keep your hands off of your low back. Standing splits, start to straighten that supporting leg as you dive down deeper and try to lift that right leg up higher, even your knuckles higher. This is a tough one, I know. If you fall out, it's no big deal. Ooh, see, I fell out. Fingertips can come down to the floor. Chair pose, big toes together, heels apart, arms up. Sink it down low. Bend your elbows out in front of you, left arm under your right, left thigh over your right, maybe loop the toes back. Eagle pose. Release, circle the arms up, dive down. Halfway lift, downward facing dog, step your feet back. All right, wild thing on the other side, the left leg rises, open up your hip and carefully transition, left toes go behind you, pushing into both feet, reach your left arm up and over, keep pushing into your right hand. into your pigeon pose. Left knee behind your left wrist. Right leg stretches back behind you. Square off the pelvis here. Lengthen up and then make yourself as comfortable as you can. 
as you fold. And we'll start to come out and we're trying to make our way back as gracefully as possible to downward dog maybe with a flow or without plank chaturanga upward dog downward facing dog and bring your knees down to the floor and bring your legs out in front of you and let's lower all the way down. Keep your knees bent, feet flat about hip width distance apart. We'll just find our bridge pose here. Push into your heels, squeeze your glutes, and lift your hips up. Keep pushing into your big right toe. And uncurl, releasing it down. And you can widen your feet, just a little windshield wiper motion here, dropping the knees and thighs from side to side. Coming into reclined butterfly pose, soles of your feet come together to touch, knees open, arms can go wherever you would like them to go. I like to bring them up overhead for a mild stretch through the chest and upper back. Try to soften fully. Make your way to Shavasana. If there are any other little movements or adjustments that you need, you can do them now, checking in with yourself. Arms can go by your side or stay up overhead. This is a powerful practice. Just feel the effects as they linger. Maybe coming back to the intention you set at the beginning of class or setting it now.
and we'll wake back up, moving a little, fingers and toes. Big stretch here. And you can turn, use your arms pushing into the ground. Find a tall seat. Bring your hands at your heart. Feeling this intention land in your heart space. And we'll close with the chant of Om one time. We inhale to chant. Big breath in. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this intermediate full body flow. I hope you enjoyed it. It's super hot in the studio right now, so I definitely felt a lot <laughs> from this practice. Leave me a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out new classes all the time. There's always lots to find here on YouTube or in my Yoga with Cassandra mobile app, which you can also access with the link down below. If you want to stay a little longer on your mat, I would love for you to follow this up with a short meditation. Otherwise, I'll practice again with you soon. Namaste.